guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about debunking some of the myths around the Kobel case versus the Marcus Bona case. Now, I ended up buying both of these cases in large part due to the myth that if you had a Kobel case and you picked it up, with your bassoon inside of it without zippering it closed, it would have less damage to the bassoon than a Marcus Bona case that was also not zippered up and picked up in the same way. Now, I thought that this was a little bit crazy to be being put out there because my thought was if you don't zipper close a case, it's going to open up and at some point your bassoon is going to fall out. So we're going to do a little bit of a case comparison. And then I used Scary Bassoon, which you probably remember from my Halloween video not long ago, in order to test this out. So let's first dig into the similarities and differences between the two cases. The cases retail for roughly about the same price just under $500. The Marcus Bona case is a little bit more expensive. It comes in at $499. The Kobel case comes in at $430. So there's a difference of $69 between the two cases. They are both marketed as relatively lightweight. I put this to the test because I have always felt in carrying my Kobel case that it felt heavier. And what I did is I emptied out both cases so there was nothing inside them. I weighed myself on a scale. Then I hugged a case and I stood on the scale and I got the difference between the two. The Kobel case comes in between seven and eight pounds, whereas the Marcus Bona case comes in at six to seven pounds. So my initial feeling that the Kobel case was heavier is true, but it's not by very much. I think in large part the difference of feeling of the Kobel bassoon case and it feeling heavier than a Marcus Bona case is the straps. Now I like to wear my bassoon as a backpack option, and when I had the case on my body, the straps and the way they are connected actually go in a parallel motion. So they run parallel down the whole back portion of the case. The Marcus Bona case, they have straps that are cut differently. In fact, they actually move at a V-like formation. And I believe this is causing a different distribution of the weight and part of the reason that even though, yes, the Marcus Bona case does weigh less, it feels different on the body and it actually feels lighter as well. The straps and how they hook onto the case has shifted. For the older Marcus Bona cases, the straps came already included on the case. On the newer portion that I just got, they actually have a series of metal loops that you undo and then hook the straps onto the case. So you can decide which ones you want and which ones you don't. For the Kobel case, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I have had issue with the straps breaking because they just weren't sturdy enough. They were made out of a lightweight plastic and a lightweight metal. So I ended up, I did have to shift those out. Now, both of these cases also offer a shoulder strap option. This was not true of some of the earlier Marcus Bona cases, but as I have bought a newer one as well, they do now come with a shoulder strap option. I do have to say that the shoulder strap option on the Kobel case is almost a little bit cumbersome in large part because it runs from the top outer edge of the case to the outer edge of the bottom of the case. And this means that in order to get the bassoon out, you actually have to undo that strap each time in order to not have to move it out of the way as you're trying to unload the bassoon. They both also have a briefcase style strap, so you could carry it in a briefcase option directly underneath one arm, and that strap actually does hook together on both of the cases. Both bassoon cases feature two outer pockets on the outside of the bassoon, one that is large enough to hold my eight and a half by 11 style of music, and they have a pocket as well just above that larger pocket. The Marcus Bona case also has a smaller compartment underneath the backpack straps on the back of the bassoon case. Inside the case, they are also very similar. They both have Velcro triangle pouches that hold the vocals that fit directly underneath the bassoon as it's taken apart. They have two compartments for reed accessories and swabs, but they differ in the fact that the Kobel case has a strap that attaches the bottom of the case to the top of the case. Now for me, I also found that this was another element that I had struggled with. If you've watched the accessories of what's in my bassoon case, I actually contemplated cutting the strap, largely because the Bona case does not have this strap. I found that this strap created a distribution of weight that was slightly challenging because if there was anything in the outer side pockets as I would remove the boot joint to first start putting the bassoon together, again starting from the bottom, 
the strap that distributed the weight from the bottom of the case to the top of the case on the cobalt case would shift and the case would move into a v-like formation now i've heard from several of you guys that this is also a problem because if the case outer pocket was overly weighted there was the option that sometimes it would launch the bell out of the case which to me was quite scary i got around this by putting my foot in on the case in order to hold it down but it was a little bit cumbersome and another aspect of the cobalt case that was not my favorite so at this point, you're probably well aware that I am very pro Marcus Bonna case, especially because the newer versions of the Marcus Bonna case even come with a raincoat, another perk in the Marcus Bonna case. Okay, so let's debunk the myth. Is it possible to pick up both of these bassoon cases and not have your bassoon fall out if the case is not closed with the full zip done? I tried it for both. close your bassoon case appropriately the pieces will fall out so it is worth taking a little bit of extra time going slowly making sure you zip the case closed and also maybe doing that briefcase style handle so that you are aware I think as musicians it's easy to overextend ourselves and also push ourselves past a level of fatigue because sometimes it feels like if you don't take every gig then you're not going to ever get called again and music is more about meditation so slow down take a deep breath and make sure that you're closing everything up before you actually pick the case up if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you don't want to miss any future videos be sure to click on that subscribe button that picture of my face that's the subscribe button now and i will see you guys next time bye